Scotiabank's Nuit Blanche Festival has grown exponentially over the years, but this growth has given way to a new art experience. Pop-up projects by independent artists are taking advantage of the crowds and giving art fans more variety. The streets were as flooded as ever for Toronto's 9th annual Nuit Blanche Festival, presented by sponsors like Scotiabank, Toronto Hydro, Subaru and H&M. These sponsors have big budgets that can produce high-impact work, but not all Toronto's artists that want to contribute to Nuit Blanche are convinced that working with the sponsor is for them. Mazi Gaderi is one such artist who contributed a projection piece called Salt Spill without being officially sanctioned by the proper event. For what I'm doing here, nobody can tell me what to do and I love that. I love the idea of not being um, restricted by some sponsor um, or being restricted by a venue. I think uh, Gorilla Art um, allows us to be more free in our creative expression. So I was interested in how I could use video to break the walls of, of uh, our different communities, you know, in a literal way. Um, I always think it's interesting how we live so close to one another, but we tend to not know too much about what's happening in our neighbor's house, especially if we're from different ethnic groups. Another unofficial piece was Maggie Helwig and Peter Drobach's The Composition Engine at the Church of St. Stephen in the Fields, in which poetry and music came together with readers and singers throughout the church being switched on and off by the audience to create unique soundscapes. Um, well, it's my church, so I can do what I want in it, so there's that. But also, I think art, art and religion are inherently about exploring the possibilities of the human imagination. And for centuries, art and religion have worked together. Um, they've become very separated recently. I'd like to bring them back together more. Looking at a totally different musical genre, the Rothko Institute teamed up with Kigurumi, an online retailer of animal costumes, to throw a mobile rave called the Nuit Blanche Renegade Parade. DJ George Stratagakos, better known as Flyboy, had this to say. What we've kind of done is, is make a, a combination of our own artistic ideals and we've also incorporated the City of Toronto as well as uh, the Toronto Police to make this fun, safe environment that while it isn't being supported by actual Nuit Blanche, adds to it anyway. Because right now it's very centered upon uh, construction pieces throughout the city, but I find it's very lacking in music and sort of the rest of us. Who's to say what the future holds for Nuit Blanche in Toronto? But it seems its constant growth is giving Toronto artists more possibilities than ever. This has been Aaron Pfaff for Sketchline.